everyone from the Birch family. We are actually going to uh, head in to eat first at McDonald's. Can you see that? It's the Golden Arches, see? see? Anywho though, so we are gonna go and after we eat, we're gonna, going to pick up a few fireworks. So I'm hoping that you guys can come along and uh, when we're done with our fireworks haul, I'll go over what we, what we bought. We have a ton of sparklers, but we still need to get a few more things for the 4th of July party that's coming up. So yeah, just come along. We're gonna go get some stuff to eat and uh, off to the fireworks tent. Change of plan. So I don't know if you can see behind me, but they're actually remodeling the inside of uh, a McDonald's. So unfortunately we're gonna have to go and pick up the fireworks first and then go through the McDonald's drive-thru. So there goes that plan. Um, yeah, so let's go to the fireworks tent. Off we go. We're here, we're here. We're here. <laughs> I love fireworks tents. They have the best, the best fireworks that, that you can't use in Florida. You excited, James? Yes. All right. Alright, so where shall we start? time and that oh shaky shaky camera that is what I will be getting the create your sandwich signature crafted sandwich with pico guacamole a beef patty and artisan roll and I'm planning on making it a meal so we're gonna go through the drive-thru go pick up some lunch and then I will show you all the fireworks we got um, it's gonna be a great haul we got a bunch of really nice fireworks and I really think that they're gonna make a great show on 4th of July and I want to show them to you before we, well, before we ignite them. So, on to the next scene. <laughs> so I had the luscious Rolla McFlurry, and mm. here mm. is the signature artisan, signature crafted sandwich. Here, I gotta keep quiet because my husband is on a phone call, an important phone call. Here we go. See, it's like, oh, it's in that nice little paper. I love that. I love places do that. And look at that. Perfectly golden. Soft to the touch. Not too soft. And look, see, they put a little lime wedge in there. You can have it. Watch this, my, there we go. my magic block. You know what? My son wants to show you. Um, James wants to show you his magic box. He's been really asking to show that to you. So if you bear with me, bear with me for just a second. Stay on the, stay on this video. If you could just show you this magic box, that'd be great. So, and then we'll cut over to the fireworks, the firework unboxing. And I'll stop rambling, I promise. All right. So, go ahead and show them. Disappeared. Oh, <gasps> let's look. Oh my goodness. It's not in there. Do you see it? Do you see it in there? Oh. Mm -mm. No, no, nowhere. Okay. All right, let's see. Oh, it disappeared again. Let's see one more. Do you have one more? Um, no. No? That's all I had. Oh, okay. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Now. Now what? Should I look away? No. Clean it. <gasps> no. Where'd that come from? came from the... Oh, my goodness. You made them reappear. 
Wow, look at that. Wow. Yay. Everybody applaud. Yay! Yay! Thank you. Thank you. So it is a dark and stormy day outside. Um, and I don't know if I should be creeped, at, creeped out by that or not. Sometimes strange things happen in this house when it's uh, rainy, so. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Might be the barometric pressure. I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly. Might be the hallway. I do hear little like like the little pitter patter things, and that that could be the rat or the raindrops dropping on the roof. We have a rat in our attic. Yes. Anyways, um, so. So I don't bore you to death if you have not already shut this off. It, I don't know. Um, but I feel better now because I have nice coffee. Yay. Okay. Moving on. Um, let's go and look at these stuff. The tons of stuff. The mass loads of stuff. Gigantic loads of stuff that we got from the fireworks tent. Oh, I'm July. All these I will be previewing. I will be showing you on day of. And we got so many fireworks here, to be honest with you guys. I don't even know if we're going to get through them all. Some of these may be saved back for New Year's Eve. Because um, we do shoot fireworks off on of New Year's Eve. So if we don't see them on 4th of July, we'll see them on New Year's Eve. These are these are the twisted ones. You put them on the ground, light a fuse, and they go, you know, and just go crazy all the way around on the ground. Now this one, I'll try not to break any of these. This one is a climbing panda, it says. It says it's a climbing panda. And the only thing that I think that it might do, because, you know, it looks like it's like attached to a bamboo, bamboo shoot. Um, it might just go, zoom, you know, and fly. I don't know if it'll fly up in the sky at all. If those are illegal in Florida. So I don't know if, then they didn't have a sign any waivers, so it couldn't fly up too far. Yeah, I don't know exactly what this thing's going to do, but it sounded pretty neat. So just wanted to go ahead and grab it. All these sounded interesting. And, and I don't know what they do. They're new. So. Spin around and go up. The, um, the people who work the tent, they seem to know pretty much all their merchandise they've set it off before and they've seen what it does and they seem to know pretty much what everything did we didn't ask we didn't call through and ask because they you know we didn't want to bug them with you know well what does this do and what does that do and what did he, what is this what is that you know and um even though it didn't seem like it and it didn't look like it they actually had a few people in the tent that were looking at stuff so I wanted to be sure to be courteous and not take up a bunch of time and go, well, I want to know what everything does. So let me, let me know. Um, I'm just kind of guessing, but they were very knowledgeable on what everything did. They told me as far as the big fireworks, you know, which ones I should get. And they told me, you know, what they did and everything. And those I will go in a little bit more, I will go a little bit more in depth. And the reason we asked about those is because they're a little bit more expensive. They range anywhere from $15 to $25, the big ones. So this is the whistling try rotating wheel my guess is that you can light it you can light it up and it'll fizzle out and it'll go from one to the other to the other and it'll just like because the force of the thing we'll see how my predictions are from it today will it will spin it'll spin yes thank you for moving me along james yeah. and then these are google googles eyes. google okay. eyes google eyes and they look like googly eyes. You can see that. Look kind of creepy. I like that. A little bit of Halloween thrown in on Halloween thrown in for Fourth of July. I like it. Why on earth did my video stop? I haven't used up all the space. My camera is doing this now, where it says I only have like ten seconds left or ten minutes left, and it'll stop, and it'll start back, and I'll start back up again, and it does the same thing. So. If it seems like it cuts over, or I lose time or something like that, then that's why. Um, so basically, this is the Google Eye. It says the limit emits flames and sparks. It's really, I wish they had like a description of what it does. Fireworks people, people who create fireworks, please put your description on the back. I would like to know exactly exactly what it does. You know, I mean, who doesn't? Who wouldn't like to look at the back and go, oh, well, this says it does this, you know, and decide that way do I actually want this 
Um, does it scream? Does it, you know, I don't want a screaming one because my kid is, you know, it's kind of afraid of screamers, but you know, I'm just gonna have to take a chance and see if it screams. Um, so you can kind of tell by the name if one of them does, but a lot of times not so much. I mean, I would like to see like a description or something instead of all the cautions everywhere. You know, I mean, they have to put that, but I would like a just small description, short, two word, two word description. That would be great. Um, Okay, you'd have to do more than two words. That would be amazing if you describe what a firework does in two words. But still, I would like a description. But from what I can tell, this is, um, you light the fuse and it'll spin around. Like, um, because we had something like this before. It'll spin around like a, almost like a UFO light. And it, some of them strobe, some of them don't. Some of them just spark around. They're like big sparks, emit big sparks. Um, as I mean, it says emits flames and sparks, so I suppose that's as much a description as we're going to get, but pretty much all of them say emits flames and sparks. That's what they do. Let's see. Not trying to rip or break anything here. <laughs> okay, so this is the oh, so good um, firework. And I don't know exactly, again, I don't know what it does, but we're going to test it out. And um, it looks almost like. Um, you know, the ones that just, they shoot out sparks and a bunch of colors and, you know, some of them, believe it or not, the ones that are the shortest are the least disappointing to me. I always have found that to be true. The smallest fireworks are the least disappointing. You spend less and you get more. I mean, what's up with that? This is a, uh, a froggy firework. I don't know what it does, but it looks like it's going to hoppity hop, hippity hop. And maybe it'll make like a little froggy noise. I remember there was one that I that we bought a while ago and it made a little froggy noise and it was hopping around. Whenever I see one that looks like a little froggy, I'm like get it because it's just so cute. It looks like a little little light up frog. So this one is called Ooh Killer. This has really cool what looks like almost like firecrackers on the outside. So I don't know what that's all about. Um will they pop? Will they not pop? one can only guess um again it just has the emits showers and sparks warning doesn't give really the description or anything but it just looked cool it had the little fireworks uh, firecrackers i don't know if they're going to be set off and pop um while it's going off it could and that'll be awesome because what it looks like it's going to do is it's going to shoot like sparks downward out of the firecrackers and that would just be awesome amazing so this is the Boomer Oriental Express. You can't really see it too well in the box. So what I'm going to do real quick is I am going to take it out of the box. All right. Oh, we do actually get a description with this one somewhat. This one says, caution, moves on ground, emits whistle, flame, and sparks. Carefully read other cautions on bottom panel. So this one does say that it screams. Um, that one will probably not be a big fan. Uh, Sam will probably not be a very big fan of this one. So, um, let's see, it looks like a train and it looks so cute and has moving wheels. It has moving wheels and it's just absolutely adorable. And Mommy. it has a little spark in the background to make it go, you know, and just move that way, move along. So it looks like an actual train. It's, oh my gosh, this is going to be so cute. So loud, but so cute. We have plenty of sparklers. We do not have enough snappers, we found out. These are the Snapdragons. They're snappers. I just thought they had other ones that were cheaper, but these were these came in a larger box, and to be honest with you, I thought the box was cool. Okay, you're not snapping the box, but the box, I mean, come on, it has a dragon on it. I could not let it go without getting something with a dragon because I love dragons. I love unicorns. I love fantasy things, fairies, anything. That's fantasy related. I love it. So it had a dragon on it. And I'm like, I don't care if these are 10 cents more expensive. I want it. Just looking through to see what else there is. Oh, yes. It's called the tank. It has wheels. It's like the train. Very much like the train. And I have a feeling this one is probably going to be a screamer too. Maybe. So we'll just have to see. Surprise, surprise. Day of the screaming children. So these are called ground bloom flowers. Wow. They're pink. And I don't know if these are firecrackers. Um, oh, this one actually has a description. This one has a description. No way. Okay. So it spins on ground. It emits flames and sparks. Okay, so that wasn't too much of a description. But 
it's enough it's enough so it spins on the ground it looks like probably looks like a flower it's pretty it's pink and, and i was like okay we gotta get this, this is pink i love pink Yo! alice get off me alice get off me alice get off me Ow! the children are driving me nuts so the get hubby's off. home Bert's daddy's home hopefully you can wrangle the kids and kind of keep them That's what I'm dealing with right now. That. 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 That was my dad. <laughs> Indeed it was. This is the Spin World. The Spin World uh, fire, Firework. These are Spin World Fireworks. And um, I just, I fell in love again with the dragon. I was like, it has a dragon on it. Let's get to see. I don't know if you can see it. It has a dragon on it and I just fell in love with that. And I went, you know what? We may have something that's like it. But, you know, because it spins on the ground apparently. And... I'm going to explain this work, excuse me, which I didn't know that the flower one did because I didn't so, read it. Reading, that's a wonderful thing. Here is the cuckoo, cuckoo fountain. Um, this one will probably shriek. So it just says I'm in showers of sparks. It doesn't say that it shrieks, but I would assume it might because, or it'll make some sort of woo sound or something. I have no idea because um, it's the cuckoo fountain. Why wouldn't it? It looks like you just basically like to fuse it lights up and emits sparks so um that seems like it's gonna be pretty cool we just wanted to get it because it was there why not this one is called rising flag it has symbols on it of an oriental nature and um that is definitely not korean i don't think no no i have no idea what this says i'm so sorry those who have the asian culture i cannot read your language i'm learning I'm still learning. I will be able to read this eventually, except that it will be blown to smithereens. But, but, I will be able to come back, watch this video, and I will be able to read this, and I'll tell you what it means later. Ooh! Ooh, I have hairs! Ew! I'm a billy goat! I'm a billy goat! It has so funny, hairs mommy. on my chin. I crack my kids up. <laughs> I do. So, um, let's see. So, the rising flag, what I can tell that it probably does, um, there's a fuse right there, and if you see, there are little flaps right there. And what I think it might possibly do is there might be a little flag inside. That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, there's like this, um, oh, actually, look, see, there's the firecrackers are like attached paper to the inside. So that might just make it go and like make it fly open and I can kind of see something inside there so yeah you know what there might be some sort of like little flag or something in there and let's see inside there might be something like some little flag or something in there and apparently the kids are fighting over a dance shoe excuse me for a moment I mean this one seems like it's going to be really interesting so yeah I'm really anxious to see exactly what this little dude is going to do Okay, so now we're going to move on to some of the bigger, um, I say bigger, but, you know, they're kind of bigger. Um, we're going to move on to some of the bigger fireworks. This one is called the Pip Squeak. Oh! <gasps> it has a description. I'm not kidding. Looks like oh, it has a description right there. Why don't all fireworks have a description like that? It's so wonderful. It has a description. So it says, performance. There we go. Performance amidst showers of color stars and crackling flower with whistle. Whistle, which means it screams. Okay, so this one is going to be a screamer. This one is probably not going to be popular. Again, so with Samuel. So Samuel might have to be standing inside. He, no, he's not going to be standing inside. He's just probably going to put his hands over his ears like this and freak out a little bit. Um, then I will be doing the same thing because I don't like screamers either. So I'm just not into screamers. Not really a big fan. It's like you never know when it's gonna happen. It's like, Boo! 
loud. It's loud, like piercingly loud. So I don't know. My husband's going to start walking, going to walk in with dinner real soon. We have fish and chips every Friday night. It's just our thing. We have fish and chips and we have family movie night. Um, we watch a movie every Friday night and we eat fish and chips from Proper Pie Company. And Proper Pie Company is an excellent, wonderful place in the Davenport area, Davenport, Florida area. If you're ever in the area, please stop by Proper Pie Company because they are an authentic British shop that serves fish and chips, pies, everything that you can possibly think of that is British, they have it. So, um, yeah, little plug for their shop. Um, but we're going to, he's going to be walking in any minute and he's going to be like, why haven't you finished? Because I've been disturbed by everybody and their brother while I've been filming this. It's not my fault. Not my fault. This one is called For Real. And this one, the kids were fighting over this one and one other that was just massive. And so these, these two will probably be the ones we use for 4th of July. We'll probably use another one that I bought because I bought some separately myself. This one says, we are for real with this fountain. Redfish, silverfish, bluefish, silver chrysanthemum, redfish, bluefish, and silver crackling red and blue star with titanium crackle. So this one has pretty much everything, it sounds like. I love the the psychedelic rainbow colors that they have going on here. The neon Lisa Frank. That's it. That's what I'm thinking of. Lisa Frank rainbow colors. I can just see a little unicorn or leopard on the front of this instead of fireworks. But this packaging just kind of attracted all of our eyes. We're like, you know, I was like, oh, it's so pretty. So I'll either be asking for real because it is so great or I'll be asking for real because it wasn't as great as all that and I'll be like for real where's the fireworks are they like I don't know I don't know where I was going with that this one is called mad monkey and I could not I could not get over this packaging I was like we've got to get it because for some odd reason monkeys seem to follow us wherever Jamie and I go basically meaning wherever we are wherever jamie is there's a monkey there will be a we'll be in a movie theater and there will be a trailer about monkeys or there will be a monkey in a trailer that is playing that has nothing to do with monkeys in the movie but it'll have a monkey or there will be a coke commercial with a monkey somewhere somewhere and whatever we're doing there is a monkey so I told Jamie, I said, okay, I said, we found a monkey in the tent. We need to buy it and take it home and just use it for 4th of July to bring in the monkeyness into our 4th of July celebration. Celebration. Um, so the, apparently, I mean, the eyes kind of look like they're see-through. So the women at the tent said that what is supposed to happen, what is supposed to happen is there's supposed to be lights in the eyes and like sparks are supposed to emit from the monkey's eyes. And so it looks kind of creepy, but cool at the same time. So I was like, ah, oh, we got to do that. We definitely have to do that. Tropical Fantasy just caught my eye. I love the colors. Again, the Lisa Frank coloring. Um, it has the palm trees. I love anything to do with the tropics. And I mean, my dream is to go to Hawaii. I'm praying that I can go to Hawaii one day. Tropical Fantasy it has a fuse somewhere on here. Where's the fuse? Right there. Okay, that's the fuse cover right there. Uh, for some reason, I thought it had three fuses. I don't know why, because it has that kind of fan shape to it. So I don't know how exactly the sparks are going to emit, but it looks like it might spray out in a fan pattern, and that just I mean, I could not pass that by because I thought, oh, if it does what I think it's going to do, this is just going to be beautiful. It's going to be a beautiful fanned, sparky effect. Looks like it's going to be great. So we'll just see. We'll see what it does. Either New Year's or Fourth of July. Who knows? So this is one that Alice begged me to get. She was begging and begging and begging. Well, it wasn't big enough for our grand finale. So we were like, ah, well, Mommy, you know, I decided to buy it. it. Can you hold it? Sure. Here's Alice with her frog prince. Are you going to let the frog prince kiss the camera? Yeah. <laughs> that's so funny, Alice. <laughs> so that's our frog prince. As you can see, it has almost it has a holographic exterior. So um, 
that's honestly what caught my eye. It has like, it's like a 3D holographic um, exterior with metal and there's, um, it has like the little bulby eyes and I'm thinking that because the eyes are see-through, hold it just for a second, I'm thinking because the eyes are kind of see-through that the sparks are going to show through those eyes and then this oh. is kind of see-through as well so I'm thinking that maybe this will be, you know, the sparks will either shoot from his mouth or it'll be see-through and they'll you know, but this one is the one of the only ones that we have that says warning may reignite soak with water after use. And Mommy, that's a little bit alarming, know. but you know, I mean, we'll have a big bucket of water just in case we always have like safety measures that we take for 4th of July. So, you know, fire extinguishers, things like that. Um, it's been raining a lot lately. So that's really good, especially after the drought that we've been having in, in Florida. It's so, I'm so glad that we've actually had rain. Uh -huh. So, and we've had rain for, for a few weeks now. So, um, oh. we'll actually be able to do 4th of July properly without having to be afraid of setting anything on fire. This one's called um, Cupid's Crush. It's called Cupid's Crush and I saw it and I saw that there it says face this side to audience and um, it has like holes in it. And there's a description on the side it says this little fountain brings out the love. White glitter showers with red. Red and green with loud silver crackling. Loud silver crackling with blue stars. Silver rain glitter and at the end a glowing heart. So, I mean, that seems like it'd be a pretty cool thing. So, I love it when they have the descriptions on the side. Please, people who ma make fireworks, do these because I love it. I do. I love the descriptions. I love reading what they do because it makes me more likely to buy Mommy, something can you hold that? if I see the description. Um, Mommy, even though I didn't can actually read it because I just, the packaging was so Mommy, cool. Can I hold that? You can hold it after I describe this, okay? Okay. All right. So, um, this was one one of the ones where I ran in after buying everything that we bought and I was like, I told Jamie, I said, I'll be right back. I just got to buy a couple more fireworks because they sound really neat. Um, so the other one that I got was this one, the electric rainbow. It, to me, it looks like Xanadu. It looks like something out of Xanadu. Doesn't it to you? Does it look like that? Or yeah, I can just see the roller skating rinks and Olivia Newton-John just, you know, singing, you know, electric rainbow or something along those lines. I mean, it just, it looks great. It looks like it's going to be wonderful. And, oh, it has a description too. Description, long lasting action fountain with the brightest colors of the rainbow. Starts with a silver, red, and green flashing fountain that changes into a loud barrage of silver and green crackling stars. Then silver and purple shimmering showers that add red, gold, and green flashing stars. Then silver flashing stars with green and gold changing to crackling stars with red, green, and purple. Then ending with red, purple, and gold flashing stars. This fountain could be your fireworks pot of gold. So, I mean, that sounds pretty impressive. I am um, really hoping um, that... I don't know why my camera keeps shutting off. Ugh, it's annoying. But having to restart, I'm gonna have to edit a whole bunch of strings of video together. Anyways, though, I'm I'm hoping that we can fit this into the fireworks show because I'm really curious about it. Because I have been having technical difficulties with my camera for so long, and I've been having so many interruptions, it is getting pretty dark outside. So, um, because of the rain and the storm and the gray clouds and everything, so it literally was causing my phone to basically <clears throat> contrast out. So, we have a fan light on to make it a little brighter in here, the world a little brighter, and um, we have some natural light outside, so we're not turning on all the lights, um, but we have one light on to make it a touch brighter in here. Oh, iced coffee. So we looked at Electric Rainbow. I'm so playing ELO while we're while we're setting this off. Can't put that up on YouTube, unfortunately, as background music. But I'm so playing ELO when this goes off. So <laughs> and then I'll put background music on that I can actually put on legally. Um, but yeah, no, this it's Xanadu. I'm sorry, it is, it is. So uh, let me put this away quick before the camera shuts off again. Darn 10 minute video stops. Firmware updates, software updates. Dun, da, 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 da. We're at the end of the, of the finale. I can't sing right now. Da, 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 da. 
Boom, 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 boom. This thing is huge. It is massive. It is ginormous. It's bigger than my head, which is huge. So, what does Not that say about me? House. Smaller than our house. Smaller than our house, but bigger than my head. It is as big as like three quarters of the size of Alice. This thing is huge. She is almost three years old. It is gigantic. Oh. It is the quiet riot. It is, let's see. Oh my gosh, this one has a description too. The description says that this starts with gold showers with red and blue stars changing to silver crackling with red and blue then silver flashing showers then a barrage of crackling stars changing to yellow showers then another barrage of crackling stars adding green finishing with red green and silver crackling it lasts over three minutes i'm glad it lasts over three minutes because if it didn't last over three minutes then i would be upset because this baby right here this baby right here cost 20 five dollars for this one firework and it is it looks impressive to say the least i am so excited so excited so excited to set this off i am loving the zebra the zebra vibe kind of beetle juicy beetle juicy zebra there's there's an animal for you a beetle juice zebra we are sending this one we're definitely setting this off on fourth of july i am not leaving outside without setting it off for fourth of july i'm going to be putting out all sorts of citronella candles making sure there are no buggies to bother us while we're standing outside looking at the fireworks but this one is going off on 4th of July. So yeah, no, I am really stoked. I'm really excited. And I hope that you're able to join us on 4th of July and on the American Independence Day, America's birthday, and just have a bunch of fun uh, watching the fireworks with us. Now, I'm not going to get it posted up on 4th of July, but I might be able to get it posted up either the day after or the day after that. So keep an eye out for it. And, um, yeah, I will see you after the dawn breaks on 4th of July. Somebody's calling again. Well, on that note, I better leave you to it so we, I can eat dinner. And Jamie just answered the phone. But that's okay. That's okay. So I will talk to you later. And must have been a telemarketer. Talk to you later. See you on the next video. And bye-bye now. Samuel, Alice, you want to come say bye to our friends? Bye. Bye. Are you going to say bye to Daddy Birch? <laughs> bye bye everyone. In case I don't get to say this sooner, by the way, happy 4th of July. Or Independence Day. Depending on how you want to put it. Happy Independence Day. And happy birthday, America. America. Mommy.